Hey, what's going on? This is Andre from OnySanders.net. Plastic does not sharpen iron. This is something I picked up on listening to Eric Thomas' latest podcast where he was with a, a bunch of uh, like-minded people, including his uh, business partners. And uh, one of his um, uh, people, one of the people that he had interviewed mentioned this thought as far as your circle, as far as who do you have within your circle. You see, you, you really can't grow or get out of your comfort zone or people that are just really comfortable where they are. You see what I'm saying? And not saying that they're bad people. You see, but sometimes if you notice that you know, very successful people, uh, as far as how they got there, trust me, they they had a circle that is just always helping them stretch, grow, uh, uh, think of bigger ideas, challenging challenging them to uh, uh, think bigger as well, as far as reaching whatever it is that they want. You see, and that is crucial as far as uh, your success. You know, it's, it's sad that uh, I remember mentioning this too, and I heard this in the. Um, uh, another a mastermind call about a few weeks ago. Oh no, no, I heard this on the training. As far as the the lower cannot understand the higher. Not saying people that are lower uh, than people that are higher are any uh, less than them. I'm not saying that. Or people that are higher than people that are lower are already better than them. Maybe. And I'm not talking about job position. I'm just talking about as far as mentality, as far as maybe uh, income level as well. As far as obviously people that are entrepreneurs of uh, how they got there, you see, because, I mean, if somebody to say is uncomfortable to say, for example, as far as talking about money, talking about sales, and they, they want to get into that circle that somebody's successful, then that's something that you would have to work on uh, personally because that's a, that's a mindset that, uh, shift that needs to uh, happen, you see, because, I mean, that, that's going to hold you back and no, you're not going to be able to get into that circle. You see that, that that's the thing. It makes no it makes no sense to be to have a circle of a handful of self made millionaires, and then here you are, somebody who who's making only this uh you know a few thousand a year. You see what I'm saying? As far as like that's what I'm talking about. As far as the the the, the, the lower cannot understand the higher, and not this money either. I'm just talking about uh, uh like mentally as well. As far as maybe uh, like the purpose. You see, and not even sometimes purpose, but you, you might get my drift where I'm coming from as far as that, as far as somebody who's willing to grow or, you know, or maybe or people that are already there, mentors, coaches, they understand the reason why there are mentors and coaches is because they have been there <laughs> where you might want to go and they just want to help shorten the learning curve if you're willing to be open to it. You see, and that's why, like I said earlier, it's very important as far as who you have in that circle, as far as who's going to help you get to that level. I know personally, it's always refreshing going to like different events with like-minded entrepreneurs as well, just talking about things. I got back from an event about a week and a half ago, and this uh, is just like just talking normally to me as far as outside of what the status quo might see, because I mean, the status quo is not really doing anything as far as pushing themselves. They're comfortable where they are. You see, and like I said before in past videos, sometimes you just have to love people from a distance. But if you know that's not helping you grow as far as being in that society uh, uh, group, do exactly what Jim Rohn mentioned many years ago as far as walk away from 97 percent and just start finding people that have been successful. We're in the information age, so we really don't have any excuse as far as going on YouTube or going to Google, researching people of success what they do, what they think, what they read, what they listen to, where they go as far as conference uh, seminars, who they hang around with. The list goes on and on and on. But again, it comes down to uh, what you want first and foremost. So something I want to leave you with. And if you got value for what we shared here, I'd love to read your comments below. I'd like to see the video. That being said, I will see you in the next video.